Hello, hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, I see Sphix in chat already. Sphix is early. Also, hello, Gumbo. I want to be noted that as soon as I said I was going to go to bed, and if you needed me, uh, you could yell at me on Discord. And Gumby, Gum, Gumby? Gumbo sent me a DM that said, ah, okay. Also, Final Puppet has been t put together. I just need to control sticks. Nice. I, I'm look I, I really like it so far. I'm excited to see it. I am full of fish and chips. And I'm ready to law. Let's see how things go. <sighs> I hope everybody's doing well today. Hell yeah, the law! Alright, what do you need is? I needed that break so badly. Uh, break from what? Oh, I, okay, from glass. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's, the problem is that it's it's too long. If they either, either did it for like six hours a day, because when when I went to high school, it was like eight hours a day with like an hour in total breaks. But if they did it in like six hours with maybe like a forty-five minute break, I think it would be a lot better. Today I passed out on class, and my friends accused me of being high. <laughs> nice. All right, I forget where we are. Oh yeah, I'm fucked, as always. Out of the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright. Frankly, there are still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me w offer you a word of advice. Yes? A defense attorney should never believe their clients. The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. This guy, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. <laughs> I believe it's almost time for the trial. You left eight hour school days? Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was eight o'clock to... No. Four. Eight o'clock to four. What, what, what is it where you are, Gumbo? Good luck, Mr. Wright. My first trial without a Faye helping me. No one's gonna bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. I just had five hour long ses lessons and an hour break. That's not, uh, I prefer, I'd prefer it that way. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. I've just been exposed to doing eight to nine hour days. And that's a problem with a lot of like, pre-secondary, no pre, or secondary and below, I guess. Not non school, non second, non post secondary, because post secondary schools are like awesome. Don't want to go to class? Don't go to class. But make sure you actually do something so you're not like wasting your student loans. You know, dumb fuck acronym we we had wouldn't work if it was over seven hours. What's the acronym? Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Six crappy hours of our life. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think for us it was like seven. Just because we had the hour, to hour total break. So it was like seven crappy hours of our lives. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgeworth, shut the fuck up. Edgeworth. <laughs> I know you shot that man, Edgeworth. I'm gonna use it against you. You're a bad prosecutor. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, went downhill in seventh grade. 
And it'll get better after you leave high school, I promise you. I think high school, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst times. I think. I mean, I did I did really hit the, the shitter in terms of po uh, uh, depression in terms of post-secondary when I went to college, but like, UK school system just in Superior? It's the entirety of EU school systems. Oh well. It's been two months, uh, but I haven't been in a courtroom since this trial. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceeding state, Mr. Wright. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what uh, those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Jokes on you, I wanted to die in high school? Well, don't, don't die. That's all I say, don't die. No offing yourself. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an un unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit in the prosecutor's office park a lot. We just go from primary to secondary to college instead of that cringer middle school sit. That's the problem is is that it's not it's all by by school district here. It's like some school districts school districts have middle school, some don't. I care I care about y'all too much to leave your asses. Thank you, Sphix. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. That's dark. Eight years of basic and then hell. Ugh. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Prosecution calls the first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The cough up queen? Hmm. Haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Ho oh, ho, caviar. I've never eaten caviar before. I'm not the biggest fan of caviar. The judge is really wolfing it down. And for you, I have festival. Uh, thanks. It's since three. I, I, in, in Canada, we start at five. I used to go to language school because special needs bro and I were just dragged along. Uh, okay. Well, the wait a state of the name in a profession. Uh, and you, sir? Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? It's too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why, why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty it hurts. I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. Ew. Here we start for? Ah. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Name, profession. Now. Me? The name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running lunch land these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. Prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. <laughs> Hurry up! Mm, very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth said to the court, I am a professional. I'm confused. I remember the exact moment I stopped drawing stigma. I think I did too. Like, it's, it was kind of revolutionary. Like, I just added a shirt to a stick man. And then I removed the stick man. And now I have a circle with a shirt on. And I just kind of evolved from there. Still, still drawing stupid shit. <laughs> I gotta remove something. Give me a second. I think you start here at like five, but I started at six because my birthday was the day before we started. <laughs> uh huh. What exactly does that mean? Until years ago, uh, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator. That makes sense. 
I was drawn to for I was forced to draw blobs to learn about organs. Okay. Oh, sorry. She was a first rate homicide detective. What? Miss Star was a detective. Aha! Uh -huh. I know who you are. Cough up. Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no see. Very well. You may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? Crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. When did you... Okay, that's a weird question. When did you all start uh, sex ed shit? I think it was grade... Five or six, I think. But then again, it was a, uh, that sex ed was mostly just like lear learning, like I, I, not uh, not anatomical, but like basically like starting off relationships and whatnot. In religion, for me, it was in gym. <laughs> Is a religion class? Fortunately for, uh, for her, there was a witness, and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Okay, I got floor plans. Oh no, we talked about butt fucking and all. Uh, ba bas basically, it was how the process is done, you know? Of course, and when 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 we started back, then it was like, "Ew, cooties," etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I was like, mm, "Ass." Mm. <laughs> I remember I lost my money for ramen that day. You lost your money for ramen. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. It seems rather cut and dried, doesn't it? If they weren't stopped by the law, I'm pretty sure they would have straight up shown us porn. Same, I think. Just go to pornhub.com slash finalfire64 and, uh... No, I'm joking. I don't actually have a Pornhub account. <laughs> It's just wild because a teach, because it's a religion teacher explaining to a group of ten year olds how a male puts their business in a woman. Well, I get. I think I understand in religion class. Uh, like they try to, I guess, teach heterosexuality. I think it was briefly gay grazed upon in when I was when I was younger about homosexuality, but I don't think it really was like delved in too far because I think they I think they mainly focused on like reproduction and how that works you know I brought money because my mom doesn't love me this is a joke oh okay well Mr. Wright uh, I can't agree in principle your honor Seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give me your worst, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? <laughs> so I starved that day? Oh, well, at least you're not starving now. Hopefully. Somehow I always knew that a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sent something, perhaps it was my finally home detective it detective's intuition at work. 
Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. I actually don't think I ever I ever saw the the condom on banana like presentation. Generally about gayness in school until year ten about different types of families. And we even go in depth because it was just sometimes two men or two women get married, love each other and get married. I think, I think I first really learned about that when I was going through some sort of, uh, like, school festival, you know? I, I, don't, I don't know how to, like, properly describe it. Uh, it was, uh, how do I define it? I had a good ground beef sandwich. We are doing one when we meet up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Smix, you just come out of nowhere, whip a banana, con him out, and go, here, final, this is how it's done. <laughs> Wait, Gumbo, it's just, just to clarify, is it you, you, you were taught in a Catholic school or something? We have, we even had a wooden dil dildon, dildo. <laughs> Fucking wild. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope for fuck's sake it wasn't used. Oh, I I remember because my my band teacher was also my my uh, health teacher in junior high. This is around grade eight, I think it was. And we we uh like in health class we were like talking about like uh sex and whatnot, and like it is, she 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 was like oh yeah like every everybody. Everybody start off uh, like saying penis five times, vagina five times. Penis, 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 vagina, vagina. Like, and like, if anybody left, we had to restart the whole thing. And then, like at the very end, when we finally didn't, uh, <laughs> when we finally uh, uh, like got through without cracking a joke, uh, <laughs> I uh, one of one of the one of the one of the dumb shit jokers in my class went. So. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna name the teacher's name. So Mrs. Mrs. Band teacher, did it feel good? <laughs> you could see like the band teacher turn up like a bright fucking pink. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. No, bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend? How touching! As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be none, nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Game ring. How's it going, General? Apparently an English teacher once drew a cock on the whiteboard and then tried to explain how mortars worked. Yeah. Give me a second here. Fuck. I, w I wanted I wanted to prepare a joke as if, if something came up. Cock and balls. <laughs> uh, rained a hell of a lot. Well, at least at least it's you get like clean off like houses and cars and shit. I don't know how it happened because I was half asleep. <laughs> Male genitalia. <laughs> one one of the funny one of the funniest things. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. I I I piss her. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I love it. One one of the one of the worst things I've ever heard a penis called is a baby batter dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm so 
sorry. I just, I, 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 oh boy, I, 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 I don't remember who taught me that one, but I laugh every time. I remember reading about what we might be able to grow <laughs> penises and laps soon to help. I know there was, like, like a proper transplant maybe, like, two or three years ago. <laughs> oh, triple deck. <laughs> Alright. Somehow I always knew this day would come. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic appearance of crime. Yeah, their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Given that, th given that they are used, uh, used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim, killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension to that. People are now classified beyond Dixie Owen. <laughs> I cannot 200 times because I have 200 dicks. Uh, you probably kill yourself a long before that. Cause I think, I think, I read somewhere that like, so, some, someone uh, did it 47 times and then immediately just passed out from like heart failure or something like that. Why are we talking about this? Oh, that's that's a visceral thought, General. Ah. Oh. oh, that's oh, okay. Killing off a detective that knew uh, knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Star, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. If I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off. She was fired. It's true, though. It is true. Still didn't need to think about that. I mean, uh, why are we talking about this still? To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Hey, Ali, how's it going? We're, we have a really fucking odd conversation if you want. Okay, how are you? I'm all right. I had some fish and chips for dinner today, so I'm feeling decent. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I'm a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased. And flawless. Very well. You may continue, Miss Star. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. This boyfriend? He's a detective? Not that boyfriend. The security guard. That boyfriend? You have several? Yes. This boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Okay. Care to join? I mean... My friend sent me the recording with one of my souls and I've been basking my big ego ever since. I wonder what makes you feel better. The yet, uh, the yet another boyfriend of positions is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. Note yourself, the judge has to, had to think before replying. The security guard room is in the lot, is, is in the lot in A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see anything from there. Oh, so like up up here at the top. I see, okay. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. I sent something, perhaps it was my finally honed detective, uh, detective's intuition at work. You sensed something? So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like... How would you say... Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. No. 
Tomorrow is Hermit Day. What's Hermit Day? Saturday? I have no idea what that means. Hold on. I, I, let's see if I do this. Uh, is this the right one? <laughs> fuck, it's too small. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's one for the books. <laughs> I'm sorry. Speaking of a detective's intuition, wasn't the victim Miss Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Uh, young cheese? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Poggers a Frog Show and Birdhouse have a new episode tomorrow. What's Frog Show and Birdhouse? Also, Hermit Day is me staying in my room because there's three people. Nice. I hope. Amphibia and Owl House humor. Well, I don't. I don't fucking know descriptions. I have seen some Owl House clips on YouTube though. I. I the only character I like is Hootie. Then it must be a hard, yellowed, and sharp as attack. Yeah, with the odor of an old cheese to match. In any case, there in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Through the, uh, through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. By garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife was with which, which, which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Indeed it was. Hmm. What an odd case this is. The person you saw, you are sure it was the defendant? I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I am certain it was her. I want to make a caucus statue, but I have nothing and uh, nothing to make of it. Uh, I don't know. I do want to have like an art day where people submit ideas for like calamity weapons and I draw them. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth. We're doomed. Let's do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Witness, in your testimony, clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie. Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me? I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That, that was inspiring. <laughs> I believe I heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry, you, could you, you could cry plagiarism? Made another frog and taped it to my phone case. Nice. I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh shit. A photograph. You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging around it, uh, hanging it around your neck. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Because gluttony. Why not make yourself like a sandwich? Like a PB&J sandwich or something. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Uh-oh. That is unmistakably Lannis guy. So what was the defendant doing at the time? 
Wait, hold on. I want to. I want to see that picture again. Thanks, Gumbo. Appreciate your input. What the fuck? I feel like something's wrong about this picture. What is it? Chief Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Tell me more th about the knife that the suspect was carrying. I'll say the blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife after all. Uh, ahem, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well versed in the, or uh, in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg from my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to, uh, as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. Hey, finals up. Oh, what's lit? Not much. See, Wolf, how's it going? What game's this? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Nice. <laughs> Stop his dick! <laughs> I'm the human embodiment of sloth. I'm trying to think of what mine would be. Envy, maybe? But it feels nice to be finally be spring break. Nice. I was, I was going, Rose. So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Does the court why you did try to stop this crime? You did see her raise the uh, uh, knife to strike, no? The defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late. Yes. The next moment... The chief prosecutor brought down murder weapon. I... I see. I'm in Hawaii right now, landed two hours ago. Nice! Go, are you on vacation? Because I doubt it's greed or lust, no offense. For me or for... For Gumbo. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? I'm gonna go. I'll be back there. Okie dokie, Wolf. Thanks for stopping by. Scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? My sis is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking uh, next to next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. The final? I guess. this be it? Cool, I did it. Yay! Any witnesses? You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with a knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear on my final salmon swirl lunch. Mm. To be fair, being mega gay is probably is probably less to like two thousand year old Bible bashers. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Hmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this. Look. Oh no. Oh no, it's the joke. The joke. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Yeah. Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> You're How's it going, artist? <laughs> This is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Obje objection, okay. That had to be the weakest objection ever, Miss uh, Edgeworth. Yet it was still stronger than your feeble mind, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? That sign can't stop me because I can't fucking read. How's it going? I'm fine. You, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. Wait, did I forget to? Oh, okay, I did. This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection! And how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stains on the uh, chief, on the chief prosecutor's coat. But it's a black and white photograph. Uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem, except you, Mr. Wright. Are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? <laughs> Can they fuck already? Unlike the other seven deadly sins, which are the sins of committing Im immortality. Sloth is a sin of admitting responsibilities. Wait, actually, me. <laughs> uh, you got a better idea? Objection. Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Maybe that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Th that's it? <laughs> Suck a stick, Phoenix. <laughs> I was gonna fucking say some lesser <laughs> dominance. <laughs> 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 artist. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo size lunch from the get go. Good advice, but I'm not I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor was uh, cold, calculating like a robot. She killed without pain and remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at Chief Prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Oh, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, if it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. <laughs> Automat is our holy sacrificial virgin. And yet it fucks everybody else. <laughs> So, we, we've so far talked about uh, sex ed classes, uh, multiple dicks, and su sucking Edgeworth off to assert dominance. What is this? It's far funnier knowing damn well Phoenix is going to kick Edgeworth's ass again. We don't know that. I know this protagonist shit, but I, ex I, I, I look forward to twists and whatnot. Who knows? Oh, scum blood. I didn't want to bring that up, gum or general, because I think that's really fucked up. This whole chat needs sex. I just they get tired of. <laughs> yeah, no, artist, that was talked about earlier. It was just fucked up. These gloves too uh, do seem to tell a tale of premeditation, premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. 
What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like driving gloves. Objection! The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves the ki of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. That's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Given the series of continues, I'm pretty sure Phoenix wins this. You, you know, I'm a, I'm of, whatever. There's been a lot of twists and turns in this game. I, I don't think, I, I wouldn't pass, put it past the developers of this game. To, to to give Phoenix a loss just to like teach him a lesson, you know? I mean there's been quite a few losses this game. Whatever. By the way, what artist? If everything was planned it wasn't a pre it was a premeditated crime. Ah. Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, mister. This is bad. She's got to think this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. We've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. So, okay. Oh my goodness. Why do I keep pressing that? It's called doing your dad. Doing your dad, do it, doing your dad, doing your dad. You know, I should just I should just sing a parody of that. For me and my trial. Fuck, I thought I thought the delay in that would Ah fuck. Alright. Not at all, Mr. Wright, please think. I pressed on that. Why did I press on that? I have to go through all of this fucking shit again. <laughs> we caught the victim uh, holding life while it was still the victim. What if she was trying to help?
I don't know what the fuck to do. Is this one? Fuck. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm not, I'm at a loss for this one. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Thank you for the monster check. Whoa! Oh, that felt good. Burn the gloves, then they'll be stumped, yeah. Why didn't I get gloves of evidence, though? What the fuck do I do? Show them the gloves again that I don't know, like you're saying, these gloves right here, show that this murder was planned? Yeah. <laughs> Is this one? What? How's the knife? Witness, do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I saw box lunches for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. Bloody murder weapon? A red car? All belonging to the prosecutor? The defendant is the chief prosecutor for district, right? Mommy, um, our prosecutor is bad people. The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, Rookie? In your testimony, you say that Lena Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves didn't do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon. Uh... What? Oh! I guess she just picked a random car? I made synapses? What's a synapses? This knife just happened to be the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Ah, whoa! Human body is cringe. Just some meaty sponge with electricity plotting a bone, piloting a bone skeleton with meaty armor. Nice. Order, order, order. Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister is as good as free. Right. I believe this next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. What? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. I'm so by promising. But this is a hole in the whole uh, premeditated theory. Bah. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. The defendant, Lena Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. That is the only thing the prosecution needed needs to prove. Nothing else. Ah. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do, she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing... 
I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you? My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now. Last guy intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Sober just means not drunk fix his eye. <laughs> well, no, uh, sober does. Uh, Heidi's not so nice. <laughs> oh, fuck, I right clicked. Damn it. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I can just imagine someone saying high five and then uh, uh, somebody running out of nowhere saying hi, D's and us and just high fiving them with someone's ball sack. <laughs> Somehow perform an epic front flip and just high five someone with with your nuts. <laughs> just, <laughs> assert dominance through your own pain. <laughs> you know for a while it would hurt, but you would just <laughs> do a flip anyways, just to just to show you can. <laughs> just, just, just think the disgust on the other person's face. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, wow, I'm, I'm really snoring today. <laughs> yeah, just think, imagine it's like smiling when going for a high five, feel something weird on their hands, and suddenly their face just shriveling up to a crevice. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, fuck. Uh, this, this one's going in the history books. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap oh. this is a very mature stream it is but I love it the victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office it does sound like a, a lot like premeditation doesn't it so far out of the piece does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy yes in any case the defense may now cross examine the witness Lannis guy intended to... Okay, I'm just going to read this. Lannis guy intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Oh. No, yet I don't... I don't even need... I didn't even need to uh, press on this one because I know exactly... It's a, it's a single knife wound. Hi, Techno. How's it going? Techno tuber. Tuber witch. Well, that makes that makes that makes him sound like a potato. I'm sorry. You say she stabbed him again and again, but you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my moss surprise. Just straight fucking moss. <laughs> I'm afraid the moss is, grow is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. Pretty good about to grab some dinner when I saw your life. Uh, go eat techno, now. Get food, then come back. Oh, but I appreciate you being here, though. Thank you. We are being dumb. We are dumb. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> you found the moss. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. Thank you for the look, Techno. 
The autopsy reports state that the death was due to a loss of blood from one stab wound. Aha! You're right. Good show, Mr. Edgeworth. Damn it, I really wanted to show a meme. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. You know what, fuck it, I want to show the meme anyways. Uh, where's my volume? Uh, window capture? No. Just because I really, I really wanted to show this meme. And see now, now, now I was just really hoping that like. That was like, oh, we we have to uh, uh, update the autopsy report, and then I could show that meme, you know. I I, I whatever. What a hunk! He's my hero, really. What about my objection? No one noticed. That's great. Not gonna lie, it is great. Well, witness. You got the crime scene set, right? Uh, oh thanks. I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I, th I thought I saw blood at her breast. Splattered, uh, splattered blood from her victim. Man, I'm a genius. I made my desktop a certain color so it blends with the task bar. Nice. Oh, actually, looking at Booba. I mean, it, she, she could be rolling that way, you know? That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. I know she said she had boyfriends. Didn't say nothing about not having girlfriends. Booba is good. <gasps> tech, tech, techno said something non-wholesome. <laughs> That's why I thought uh, she must have stabbed him at least twice. Tell us what you thought saw that you thought was blood. Testify. Her red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Muffler. A red muffler. Yes, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck. Straight streamer man with a gaze chat. I mean, I'm not judging anybody. For April Fools, I'm going to move everything on your channel one pixel to the left. Is my channel? No, it's not. In all honesty, I was I was really tempted to start streaming at 6 a.m. just to fuck with people. That either that or go into Australia mode and just completely like rotate my my stream upside down. Most wholesome, probably Technos. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Time is real. Why not? the worst Nick for Kaka. He can't judge. <laughs> I mean, if you enjoy Kaka, more power to you. If you enjoy Booba, more power to you. But we can all agree. Butts are great. Yes, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck. 
So she can be easily hanged at a moment's notice, I suppose. She's right. Miss Sky was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? But wait. Isn't it odd that you mistook that for splattered blood? Well, people often mistake my beard. For a bib. <laughs> and if you know also if you enjoy neither that's also great. Yep, that is. That's such a Okay, that is a really, really bad uh kaka. A judge with a bib. That's why this place feels so much like a kindergarten sometimes. Actually. I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. However, the autopsy report is clear on this matter. There's only one knife for it. Apparently, Miss Star isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Mr. Wright, this is our chance. Just for what, I wonder. Miss Star has turned out to be as short-tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenge our villages as a detective really set her off. Hey, Avery, how's it going? The short wick burns out the fastest. That's a scientific fact. I wonder, when it depend on the size of the candle? I mean, add more wax and it's really a, sh and a really short work and will burn longer. Easy, the murderer was a machine who stabbed in the exact same spot with no variation either times. Uh, now, even then, there would be... Uh, what was it? Like, mixed oxidization of the blood or something like that? I, c I can't remember what exactly it is, but like, there's... Even if, if, even if an iPhone was exactly replicated, something would be different. A <laughs> chance to nut slap Edgeworth if he keeps fucking this trial. <laughs> it's official, I have a sinus infection. I woke up to my eyes sealed shut from the mucus in them. Oh! Shit, dude. Have we able to find any, like, antibiotics or anything to help with that? Can we get some hearts in chat for Avery? Hurts like hell, and yeah, I'm on antibiotics <laughs> and steroids finally. Well, that's good, at least. Well, you're more than welcome to stay here and, like, chillax. Uh, there's, there's no pressure to do anything, my dude. If you want to chat, feel free to chat. But, like, I'm not, I'm not like, trying to, like, pressure you to do anything. Relax, recover, drink some tea, make, make some lemonade, get some vitamin C in your system as well. You know, the works. Definitely not streaming today. I, that's probably a very good idea. I enjoy watching your streams. I don't have much to say, but like I enjoy watching them. But I I completely understand that you need to take care of yourself first and fucking foremost. Otherwise, I, I'd be on you like a bat out of hell, dude. I'd report you for self-destruction. <laughs> Is a sinus infection not an heart disease? Why does he need hearts? <laughs> Actually, shoot me. Yeah. All right. Everyone, point your guns at Gumbo. No, no, no muting gumbo. Just point your guns at him. I mean, add more wi Okay. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. No. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, so... Uh... <laughs> gumbo be like... <laughs> Thank God that loser died. <laughs> That's what should we call the. Okay, all right, let's. Let's press on some of these just to get more information. You said that, but you haven't told us how you know. That's what I'm about to tell you, rookie. I believe what she just said was a mere prelude to the story she's about to tell me. Try not to interrupt her again. Rookie. Never interrupt a storyteller. It's like pulling a bun out of the oven half-baked. 
something's half baked here. All right, and to see them. Try not to confuse a wit <laughs> defense witness. They're not very quick on their feet. Fuck you, Edgeworth. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> now, why did you believe? <laughs> I don't know why I fucking said that. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Now, why did you believe the suspects had it intentions to murder the victim? Her actions speak, her actions speak for themselves. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. You have no proof that Miss Sky called him there. You have no proof that she didn't. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, thoughts? <laughs> fuck you, drop your pants right now on a suck. Right now, in front of the court. <laughs> what the fuck is this chat, dude? Holy shit. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, thoughts? There's no record of a call made on the defendant, Miss Lannis Guy's phone. She might have written him a letter. Come on, you could have tried a public phone first, at least. In any case, the victim came to the prosecutor's office where he was murdered. I'm sure he had a reason to be there. Witness? Why do you think it was uh, the suspect who uh, summoned the victim that day? We're gay, feral, and probably sleep deprived? You know, that makes entirely sense. Not gonna lie, I seen the fake pinning. Yeah, fucking pipe, pi both pipe and techno had the fucking pingy uh, images. Of, I was like, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, but wait, it's April Fools. That's fucking why. I don't know why I didn't fucking think of that. Why do you think? Why do you think it was the suspect who was who summoned the victim that day? Racked it to techno. Okay. Should the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim? What kind of grudge? Well, I wouldn't know about that. Of course you don't. That's because she didn't have a grudge. Rookie. I have a lunchbox here. Now, what's inside? How am I supposed to know? See? We agree there's a lunchbox here. But we don't know what's inside. I was kind of confused because I had both techno and pipe server muted, yeah. And mine too, probably. But I'm not, I'm not that smart. <laughs> a person's life is like a lunchbox with pretzels. Don't you agree? I get it. That's why my lunch was so salty. What? <laughs> this this judges are very good with metaphors. <laughs> Better have a dick. It's, it's, it's my dick in a lunchbox? How's it going, Severed? Well, well, welcome to the... Probably the weirdest fucking chat you've ever been in. The suspect had a grudge against Detective Goodman. Will you tell us your basis for thinking this? It's simple. Her red. Oh, what? Ah, what a fucking. Life is like an archer when it pulls you down, it's about to send you forward at a high velocity and kills. Uh, no, that's, first off, life is, that's, you don't, it's not an archer, it's a bow. Secondly, it doesn't pull down, it pulls back. She's not wearing one. Oh. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> the witness is clearly not suited to, for detective work. Oh, shit. Oh, finally. You probably know the pain, but I started an addition to my virtual closet. It's pain and suffering. I saw. How, how are you doing it? Are you doing uh, like a like a Photoshop thing?
Or are you, are you like drawing it on? The what? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you've proved it yourself with this photograph. Huh? But that's... that can't be. Only a professional lunch lady would be so utterly clueless. Congratulations, perhaps you finally found your true calling in life. Damn. Procreate and v Roid Studio itself? Okay. Uh... I feel like I should be, like, adding things to my, like, outfit to, like, you know, make it a bit better. Got to try an iPad with Procreate the other day. Nice. I still got to learn more with Krita. Congratulations, perhaps you finally found your true calling in life. Harsh words, but good. I admire the patience that animators have, usually uh, drawing, ev usually drawing every frame manually. Yeah, except when you know you get like the kind of lazy stuff. I used to actually animate three D things. Hmm, harsh words, but good. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection, chopped liver? But it was there—a scarf. No, not that, but something red. Really? I'll see. I think I just think people are gonna write if I don't eventually get a coven leader get up sorted out. So I'm trying to get my my hand at doing it myself. An upgrade will be done by someone better than me. If you want, I could try to take a look at like like if if you if you sauced me the Vroid model, I I can probably try to take a look to make it like coveny. Giant eye in the front. Maybe maybe that cracks cracks along the like the base of the neck to kind of like like ma magical like Necronomicon creep or something like that I don't know I don't mind I don't mind checking it out I, I, I do have like as you can see a little bit of like texture work I got like I said I gotta update mine but I, I tried to make it like simple colors on mine so I'm not like because I don't have the best computer for uh, making like high bit rate uh, streams, so. Thanks, Ever. Bruce, I'm going to have a small qualm with you here. You have a lot of negative opinions in regards to art. Oftentimes when you say something in chat, it's like, I know the one you just said, it's like, it's a good and fun pain. But you're, you're still talking about the pain of the process. Why not talking about enjoying art? Because you enjoy art. Like Sphix. Sphix enjoys art. Sphix knows the pain. But Sphix does, I, I've seen Sphix talk about, like, like, the joys of art, you know? I, I, I talk about being able to enjoy drawing dumb shit. It's just, it's just a thought, like, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, like, rag on you for that kind of thing. I'm trying to just make you, like, think. <laughs> Masochism, yeah. What was there? A scarf? No, not that. But something red, really. Well, now we're worried. The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended as a suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. Toss the reference pic I was using in the Vroid file in your DMs. Bless. Let me, let me check quickly. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Is that like quote unquote your character? I 
I mean, gumbo mas mas masochism and sexual masochism are com two completely different things. One can enjoy in pain and not be a sexual thing. The purple haired goober is mine. Okay. I did you want me to change the skin color as well to be the like pale cyan? Did you read the docs about the migration from Photoshop? I did not. No. I I want to take some time on on uh like like figuring figuring the basis of things out before I start start migrating shit from Photoshop. But you know what I mean. Color based school assignments despite being colorblind couldn't be me. Have you talked with a teacher about uh like accommodations? You don't have to. I was just it was just mostly for going for the clothing, but it's more because I was gonna dare try to figure out the lighting, that kind of lighting. Ha. I if you want I can I can do multiple. Send you pictures. You can tell me how you think. I mean, I have a, having a filthy fucking monitor. I hate that too. It fucking bothers the shit out of me. We have a human at the end. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. Most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony might just be the moment of truth. My teacher's reasoning is that color is an element of art and floral design is an art. Just say that it's your interpretation because that's what you see in the world. Everyone everyone sees the world differently. No, no two sets of eyes are the same. I'll see a yellow different than Techno sees a yellow. Who knows? We look at piss differently. <laughs> Got it before you guys did. I, I said yellow because it was the first color that came to mind looking at my OBS uh, thing. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I said yellow. Chat's going to say something about piss. I am going to say piss first. <laughs> my eyes are the exact same as your eyes because I stole your eyes. Ah, shit. <laughs> well. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind the petition off to her side. He quickly caught her, explained her, raised her, and then arrested her on the spot. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made an, uh, made to escape, but Angel Star resisted, but against Angel Star resistance is futile. A couple of days ago, we had to blend food coloring with frosting to make a color wheel with cookies. Five of them ended up as the same dark bluish color. Interesting. You are quite determined about the scarf, aren't you? Like a strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That's me, Angel Star. She's so full of herself. That that wasn't a very good that wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kinda of snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bit. No thanks. Note yourself. <laughs> Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. Emma, I fucking love you. Chief Prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. An oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator to this one. I wonder how much those color correcting glasses are. Oh, she's a she's beautiful but deadly. A predator to this one. A leopard woman. I'm not saying that. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Oh. Ah. Oh, the fucking botch sneeze hurt. Ow. It feels like someone fucking just exploded right between my eyes. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. 
I'm going to go up before chat goes, uh, keeps on going. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Is final dying on stream? Almost. I botched a sneeze. After the murder, there's a, a suspect attempted to run behind, uh, run behind a partition off to his side. So where's this partition on the floor plans? Trish uses this wall next to the car. That's right. There was a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what'd you do then? Oh, hydrate, thank you. I sneezed earlier, and now it feels like I ate a Dorito and scratched back. I hate that feeling. I'm still sick. Still sick, so pain? Yeah. <laughs> Sphix get better. Or else. What'd you do then? I quickly caught her, explained her, raised her, and arrested her on the spot. You say quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said. I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm. Maybe you should press her for more details. I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just to be safe. The lunch line car was... She was a visitor. Thus, she was parked in B block. So you witnessed the murder from here? That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Miss Star? Yes, that's right. But there's a chain-link fence in front of you. I went over it, of course. Amazing, the cough queen, lunch lady, athlete, indeed. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten to my sister that fast. Yeah, the fence was about nine feet high, too. Oh, there, okay, I was, there was a top. So how did Miss Sky not get away? The fucking legs, what? I deeply understand the theory of humor is with how I feel. Remember something rarer than me remembering something important shit with tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming art for once. I have very few content ideas. Uh, make... Hmm. I don't know. Actually, for, for my next idiot fuck makes a thing, I either want to do game dev time or I want to like pe I want people to like submit ideas for like calamity weapons, and I'll draw calamity weapons. Ah uh, yes. Oh sorry. Oh, I already did this. I still love that one minute techno. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I, I, I really enjoyed the like, try, trying to draw streamers in like a very limited time limit. I did... You, Pipe, Moist, Avery, Turnip, Myself, Elohim, Gumbo, Sphix, If you do weapons, you know there's going to be at least one piss and one cock based ones. Yeah, I know. How to draw a perfect circle. First you draw a face and you erase some of the... Oh yeah. I remember that meme. When I rested her, she mentioned the muffler. She mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. Just that one word. So what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone, she can't mean. By phone, do you mean there's a cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. <laughs> Step one, draw a circle. Step two, draw the rest of the fucking owl. <laughs> Ultimately, my memory is like a salmon heading upstream to see. 
No, the court doesn't see Miss Star. The chief prosecutor uh, first attempted to, to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall. That's right. In the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Probably is out of order. I have some of those. Yes, post memes. <laughs> God, it's not draw my circles by hand. <laughs> so she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing. Whatever happened to good old good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do is to please this rookie defense attorney. Stroke stabilization and stroke prediction in, in Procreate. As do I. I, I hate how, like, jagged my, my lines look when I try that. I saw it all. How she tried uh, the phone on the wall but had to use her cell instead. Chief Prosecutor made it, um, made to escape an angel. Oh. So, but how, how she tried to use the phone? Okay, you know um, do you think you'd restate your testimony for the court? Aha! Uh -huh. I was gonna ask the same thing. I'll say this one time, so listen to close rookies. Chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. She then picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time, you climbed over the chain lake fence. That's when I boldly grabbed her arm. The chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? Yeah, if, any, if anybody wants to draw human hands, here's a tip. Just draw gloves. <laughs> and you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? The chief prosecutor made an escape but in resistance against Angel, but against Angel Star resistance is beetle. She made to escape. Can you be more specific? She brushed aside my hand and ran. It's a terrible sight to see like a dollop of lard on a pate of frog bra. Huh? She even kicked over an oil drum at me. Uh, an oil drum? Feet are worse. I hate drawing feet so much. Started drawing prosthetics before I got Trader. What do you mean by prosthetics? There's an oil drum lying on its side of the crime scene. But it's strange. Hmm, what's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other... Ah. The parking lot entrance. Th that's right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run f um, from behind the partition to, to the oil drums. Just final hands? <laughs> Arm prosthetics. Okay. Oh. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few more, a uh, few before finding more, though. So this guy tried to run. I'm sorry, but my sister is I'm sorry, my sister, uh, sister is so suspicious, Mister Wright. Not as sorry as I am, but she didn't do it. You have to believe me. Yeah, 
I don't know. I just did a shit ton of hand rules. So did I. So that's that's what I do. I just l look at my hand and I just practice drawing like cartoon versions of that hand. And like accentuate like the curves and whatnot. Like if you're pointing a finger, arc the finger just very slightly upward. It looks like a cartoonish finger. <laughs> so fucking, that, that, that is a horrible thought fix. Just deep throating a lemon. This is so weird. Why is every piece of art this guy makes just people who are in horrible accidents and wear 40 prosthetics? That's grotesque to think about. Oh, yeah, she couldn't have seen it. There's a fucking partition in the way. Mr. Harvick, to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by my by personal bias. I literally thought you would be my knight in shining armor prosecutor. You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem. Let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. I fucking love the Cave Johnson copy pass. That is so good. Man, I would love to play Portal again. Maybe one day. <laughs> Zest. I forgot how to English. Let me look it up. Huh. The emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. <laughs> People come me. What? Ah! Order, order. What is the meaning of this? It's simple, your honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies! Good. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps we'll, we'll, you will allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's the kind of attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about where she saw it. This guy tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What's significant about this fact? Nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it. Pointless to lie. I see. I'd say the witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It would mean. Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? That's a pointless lie I've ever heard one. Before you call my life pointless, at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to a clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness, witness when she saw the crime? All testimony we've heard up until now it points in one direction. The place that Miss, where Miss Star witnessed it from the crime was here. Oh no, she'd have to be in the security room. This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room in the underground parking lot was well positioned. It's built on the second floor as, you, uh, as so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor.
The witness, not being part of the prosecutor's office, couldn't park an A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime was in the part back of the partition is here. I remember in your testimony you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? How many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables would be turned. Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. Have y'all ever seen a pile of lime? Yes. I, ha I have. I've, I've done it several times myself. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Skye? Um, Mr. Red, does this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from, this crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the boss check. <sighs> My chair lane's too far back. Even when I have the, the recliner set in, my chair still leans back about 45 degrees. I really need a computer chair. Or something. Something better for my back. Vibe check? Okay. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. No? Because there's a... Because if there's a chain link fence in the way. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk it, uh, that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? Me. Who else? Mr. Wright, let's review what, what we know. Miss Star witnessed a crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B block. Must make a vital difference, but what? What would change? Oh, the murder occurred in B block instead. Why the angle at which she saw the crime could uh she saw the cr the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Um, well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and, um, she would have sort of more a 3D view of the crime. And this is important. Why? Um. Fuck. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider Mr. Wright. Ah, oh, shit. Was it her BF? Maybe? Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Okay, whatever. I only have two fucking mistakes to go on this one. What would change? The distance, maybe? Because if she's over here and the chain link fence is here, the, ang the murder would have to go over here, but that's the different angle of the crime instead of like this way. It'd have to go this way. Wait, wait, you just not save? I haven't felt the need to yet. I've only done it like mid mid sesh once. Where is it? Okay, I'm sorry. Distance of the crime, I guess? Changes the distance between her and the, the scene of the crime. Oh, fuck off. My condolences, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor pens and it's quite clear. This is between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. What she saw is not in question here. 
What matters is the time it would take to reach the scene of the crime. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now how long did it take you to go from there to see the crime where you missed him, Miss Sky? Well, witness? You... yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? Squid! I always have to look up a solution for a Skyrim puzzle because some mod I changed the texture so the answer wasn't there. Ah, oh, I hate that. The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. I was bringing a PB&J lunch with my fresh boysenberry. Ooh, boysenberry is delicious. Boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't at the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass walled station. Before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. <laughs> That's why I had to go through the uh, the visitor and par uh, visitors parking and block and B block. That's quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. F five minutes? Hmm. This changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it, I have the photographic evidence. Okay, so it... I swear, I swear it on my finest plastic spork. Not the spork! You have a point. And the spork is a wonderful invention. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Uh oh. Straight, right, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Objection. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make past in that amount of time. If you like it, Aldante. I've got lunch boxes that tie past into knots, rookie. A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Holy dose of CBT, yeah? I, I, I think Sphix gets upset if we mention CBT just because of the... Yeah, uh, I think he was the first one to realize the uh, uh, scribble dots shit. <laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would run, but this time it was this time was different. This guy dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had he, she even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah, Maya. <laughs> well, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blanket or testimony. Mr. Edgeworth is next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it. We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I'm afraid that the cough of Queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned. Oh no, there's an objection. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me. Crab bucket mentality. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, would you care to explain, Gumbo? I prefer not to take the defense's team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is that the one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Ooh. <laughs> Woohoo, a triple decker. <laughs> Woo. Out of uh, deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. And food. 
Does Phoenix ever get sleep? Yeah. Basically, a bunch of crabs in a bucket will keep attacking each other. Will keep attacking other crabs trying to escape the bucket so nobody will escape. Interesting. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch line motto says, you won't be disappointed. Are she going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? Gotta go get something to eat, Fix. Please. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now? To the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? I want to punch her. I wouldn't punch a lady, though. Mama taught me better. Two of the blood were found on this shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. And the other the blood type matched the type of the defendant, Miss Lenniskai. The shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Or make a crab meat, uh, crab salad sandwich. Seafood salad sandwich. Mm. Actually, you know what? I could go for a lobster roll. Lobster rolls are fucking good. When I went when I went to Prince Edward Island with my dad, before we, before we went over um, the Confederation Bridge, which is actually a really fucking like frightening bridge. If if any if anybody has like the chance to go look at the Confederation Bridge, I would heavily suggest it. Anyways. Before we crossed over, uh, we had actually decided to like stop at like a seafood place and get a lobster roll. Oh, a lobster roll from the like the Atlantic Maritimes. Shit, that's good. Don't care about your crutch. Be a bitch. Get it. <laughs> There's only like 900 calories and 20 McNuggets. That's only like half decent, half the amount I need. Isn't it like a thousand per day? That's like needed what there was blood on the found on that shoe try lunch land for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs what is what's the meaning of this why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence simple as I've already said I don't trust you with evidence mr. Edgeworth that's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be uh, shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, the shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It seems so. Edward sure is celebrating. I'll go see some sustenance. See you in a minute. Okay, okay. Twelve hundred to eight hundred depending. Thank you, Techno. I appreciate your intellectualism. Don't forget, I used to be a detective, as I mentioned previously. The shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Do you enjoy doing nothing actively or passively? Passively. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Sorry. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty solid. You could have at least studied some evidence law, really. Prosecution's complaints notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that guilty are probably judge. White enamel shoe. Bears traces of blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. And Lana. Right, well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Should mention those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. 
Now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was, one was of course, the victim's. And the blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lina Skye. This should prove, prove that it's flawless, decisive evidence. Are black. And you found the shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's pr uh, crime. If she was my secret weapon, that could happen. If that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? Cares more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy to put you in your lunchbox bags. Lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed valuable evidence from the scene of a crime. Now tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found on the shoot. One, of course, was the victim's. So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. She got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. Sustenance has been achieved. What did you eat? The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belonged to the victim. Detective Goodman? As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. The most unrealistic part of these kinds of games is that the trials don't start until all the evidence you need. No? Because, like... I think it was with the... Uh... Which one was it? Uh, uh, what's, it's the movie one. We have salted caramel ice cream in the house, or should I go get some? Hell yes! That, is, that shit's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's... It, 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 it does, it's not until you have all the decisive admins. You're still on a time limit. It's when, it's when you personally, like, when character Phoenix Wright thinks uh, he has all that he can contain... Uh, all that he has within the time limit that he's given. Because a lot of these are just, like... A lot of these uh, court proceedings are, are, like, day after... Phoenix gets notified, so he only has like a day to find evidence. You know, he has he has limited time to find things. So I th I think it's actually quite realistic what uh what the, what they've done. As I said, there were two types of blood found in the shoe. And the blood type matched that of the defend Miss Lana's guy. You can't say for sure the blood belongs to the defendant with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Huh? Well, speak up. Ah, uh, well. Blood comes in four types. A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types of blood without the test there. Where the fuck is my... Yeah, Techno Fix already left. Yeah, go get ice cream now. Go, run, Techno, run, flee. Which means that we can more or less narrow any type, any sample of blood down just one person. Or so I hear. That's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they, they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana's guy. So the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to, to the death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. The shoe proves it's flawless, decisive evidence. Can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? 
Ew. Some like it hot, Mr. Right? Some like your clients. She's enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Right, do you or do you not have a problem with the shoe? I do. Problem, this is critical. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? There is a problem. But I'm not imagining things. I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. A gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's well, hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? It shows a problem with the evidence. Oh, I haven't even looked. I didn't even look at it, but yeah, there's... I wonder if you noticed there's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Oh, it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Indeed, there's quite a bit of... Oh, I'm dropping frames again for some reason. Why? Oh, it was just... One second of frames just dropped. Okay, thanks. Indeed, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contra contradictory about the blood, uh, blood on the bottom of the shoe? Can she get arrested for threatening you in a courtroom? No. Not in this courtroom. I've been threatened too many times. <laughs> the problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Now the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then isn't it strange? Why weren't there any bloody footprints by the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor. So there could have been bloody footprints. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because... We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order, order, order. Well, witness? What, huh? I, uh... Great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. That's right, what? There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. I don't know why it's not there. I'm just gonna find contradictions. What? I see. Now I get it. Get what? A witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There was one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. Chief Prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Not repeating that word. I thought it was a strange thing for a normally cool headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum wasn't empty. Oh, that. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor. Was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? So don't get it, Mr. Wright? Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason. Aha, you don't mean? Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the blood stains and come evidence against her. What? The ties things up quite nicely. Blood stains left on her victim's shoe tire quite clearly to this murder. And after the dead was, deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase her telltale signs. Edgy, are you okay? 
Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me, this guy's right hand was hurt. Did you say she cut herself when didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please. What? What can I do? Sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But Enough. There's no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. What? Little girl, what did you just say? Huh? Me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister had evidence, or hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well. I thought you had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called evidence. Wait. Wait, just don't tell me you have something else. Are you fucking kidding me? The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments and you'll be held in contempt of court. Do we win this out of spite? Hell yeah, we do. <laughs> That's how it always will be. If this don't scare the cough up, Queen. Look at this. A photograph. I had it just in case anyone had the gall to, the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Oh, it's the victim's shoe. Okay. I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait. Look at the asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Raising the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyways. I'm guessing give me a fay. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, wet or not, don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Get yourself up off the asphalt, take another good look. Don't give up, not until the bitter end. Fucking Deus Ex Machina. This last piece of evidence. Very well, this time I'd like you to declare a verdict for good. Objection! Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late. Look at this photo. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. I'm sorry. The last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right? Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yes. I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with this photograph. Each time you say that joke, you die inside a bit more. Yeah, you guys can hear it in my voices. Brahma's photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor? You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or a scarf or any kind in this photograph. 
A muffler is also a part on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system. A pipe. I see, and I see. What's this suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? Hmm. So what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection! Sorry, Miss Star. But it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Rice has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth is related to the... And the muffler is related to this case. I'm gonna fuck this up, I know it. I can't... I can't get a good picture of the kittens without blinding them. Are their eyes still closed? It was the blue badger! Wipe off the shoe. Well, Your Honor, how do you feel about that? Ah, uh, I fucked it. Actually, actually, I don't feel well at all. I have this pounding headache. No, no, no. I meant, what do you think about the... I'm afraid for the reason for that. Oh, okay. I just got fucking told. All right, this is where I have to save. Final why Tell us why did you murder the, detec the detective? I didn't. I fucked his dad! <laughs> Bro, I feel like they're only a week but old, but they've apparently been three weeks. Wow. The cloth was found in the car's muffler, right? Muffler, muffler. Where have I heard that word recently? Muffler. Oh, uh, fuck. I, I actually lost. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. The defense has failed to give the court sufficient reason to doubt the prosecution's claim. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Mother of fuck. The accuser will send her surrender to the court immediately. To be held in a pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Hmm. Uh. I wonder when this showed up. <laughs> Thank you so much, General. I greatly appreciate that, man. Four months. You also have several General Solos, God. I feel like you've been here longer than four months, but I, I still greatly appreciate that. Thanks, man. A few ults, yeah. I just, I, 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 you may have used a different one before. I don't know. Wait, why have you used a different one? Why have you used a different one? Is it to wipe off the prints? Oh, it's the fucking phone. Miss Star. Mostly because I forgot the password I needed to account. Ah, okay, okay. A single digit alt account? Cringe. Let's start. Recall your testimony for the court. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me most... That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. 
Muffler. Ah. Could it be that the muffler you mentioned you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means the that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh. Woo. I have so much free time. Nice. Well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. Suspend. I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Woo! That was close. But we made it. Now at least for now. I didn't I didn't say what did I, how did I do that? Let's fix tell tell me how, tell me when. No job, no school, no life, saying Okay, no, that doesn't count. I said, oh, not. Uh, fuck. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Even though I just completely fucked my own ass at the end there. Didn't think I'd actually lose this game. Manage to speak better actually sound like a snake. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I think... Af after uh, stream, thanks, General. Appreciate it. <laughs> I think after I do this, I might stick around in Techno's chat, just so I can uh like more bet sex. Fucking <laughs> more butt sex. Why? <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, just so I can like see what see what I can do and like for 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 their VTuber model, just to see. Might 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 fuck about. Or actually, no, I might do it at my Discord. I'm not entirely sure. I'll, f I'll fuck around and see. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for like sticking around, guys. Let's let's figure out somebody to raid. Who's who's on? Who do we saw some love to? No fuck. I I hear me. Shit. Left click. Apply. No fuck. I I hear me. No. Why yeah. fucking let me right click. Apply. No fuck. I I hear me. No. Why yeah. fucking let me right click. Apply. No fuck. I I hear me. No. Yeah. Fuck that hurt to listen to. All right. Uh Abby is on. Abby is playing uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. All right, so right click is legal. I I just I have I have a program called X mouse button control, which I can use to in intercept any like button presses. I can intercept my scroll wheels, and the raid message will be. Cause I don't follow Epi weird, yeah. Uh, is this is this right one? No, what? Oh, I forgot the F. For some reason, the colon wasn't working. Okay, so. There we go. This raid suck. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that, that'll be the raid message. This this raid suck. <laughs> All right, actually, you know what? Let's add, let's add an S because I, I feel stupid. This raid sucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, let's do, let's do it without the S's. That's that. Now it's just fight the Okay. Um, but I but I I hope I hope uh, everybody has a good time. Uh, and thank you so much. I think tomorrow is the SMP. I think. Well, we'll I'll, we'll figure things out. But yeah, I'll. I'll um. I think I'm just gonna spend some time tonight and just work on uh. Techno's Techno's model. See what we can do. Raid Raid Message Edition Four. All right. Uh, take care, everyone.